Oh. <laughs> Guys, what's happening? Hope you're all doing well. I'm here with my boy Christo, and we are at his studio in London in Tobacco Docks. Um, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna basically walk you through the EP. Yeah, basically track by track. Track by yeah. track breakdown on Lifeline EP. Here we go. about the concept and how it kind of came about because it wasn't initially going to be a love song uh, and then kind of yeah so Savannah was definitely the first track of the EP that I wrote I actually wrote the track in like October 2018 right from the intro I knew okay this is going to be a love song and then Savannah um, she's always like joking me like oh write me a song write me a song if you're dating a musician you expect them to write you this like beautiful love ballad like Lewis Capaldi or Adele <laughs> or something and I write this like freaking dance pop track like, Ivy, like yeah bass driven, like, <laughs> so she was kind of like and I was like babe I wrote you a song and she was like oh let me hear it and then she was kind of like yeah, cool. <laughs> I mean, she obviously enjoys it, but like, it's not a typical love song. It's kind of a different style love track. So we are going to dive into the production a little bit and just open the track up and see how we did things. Okay, so first up for the intro, we've got the vocoder. Vocoder. And this is kind of how the track started, you know, then. Yeah. Dude, when I did that vocoder thing, I was like, I just want a freaking bass to slap straight away. So uh, that's why that intro never comes up again. It's it's like the first track I've done where it's just an intro. So I kind of just wanted it to be like intro and then straight from there, bass and kick, like right off the bat. <laughs> Okay, so, sh so solo that piano there in the end oh, chorus. <laughs> okay, so this was my piano. You can obviously hear that it's, it's, it's MIDI, you can hear it's quite unnatural, it's very quantized, everything like that. And then this is yours, and this is the first time I've ever heard this solo, your piano. So there's actually some bum notes in there and and it's like the timing is slightly off but for some reason when that's when those are together in the track it's kind of a chaotic feel don't you think like yeah, a weird almost a human feel yeah so. like a yeah a more human element which i sometimes lack when i'm working with like electronic stuff and midi <laughs> And then the other thing is uh, this guitar here. Harmonized. And if you've never heard that in the track, it sounds. Yeah. Very subtle. Yeah, you know, it's like little elements, but the main, I mean, obviously there's bells and whistles, but the main thing is drums, bass, vocals, done. So for vocals, it was a falsetto sort of bass, but then we wanted to add like a low element and then some harmonies and just build around and land on that chorus a little bit. So my favorite one. Oh, hello, I won't sleep on that is flipping that, high. That's flat, <laughs> bro. <laughs> there's no fucking auto tune on there, bro. Gosh. For some reason, when I track vocals at home, instead of here in the studio when I'm just tracking alone, you're not, you're not thinking, you just track it and you haven't even sat with the melody, you haven't sat with the lyrics, it's just like on the fly. Till it's done, till I can get up the street, just stand in the window again. There's the old demo vocals there. Yeah, oh, old demos. Till it's done, till I can get so that's it. It's a kick, it's a bass, and it's a vocal that's at the heart of it, like you said. And then we just added some stuff over keys, guitar, synth. And then, like we said earlier, we put a synth bass under all of our basses. That's it. Cool. So that was Savannah. Next up, we got Lighthouse. <laughs> <laughs> So 
so lighthouse lighthouse is basically a dark it's like when i wanted like a darker track i wanted something that's not as like happy poppy as some of the others it's cut this 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 song is kind of like a very it's i, I don't want to say like presumptive but it's 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 from the conversation point of view of god speaking to somebody i mean how do you know what god is saying in a sense but it was kind of like i was writing it from the perspective of like what i think god would say to somebody who's in a bad place in their life love yeah that. i love that concept when you played it for me when we we're sitting here and you played it for me for the first time i was like this is definitely has to be on the ep because we you know we wrote quite a few yeah. songs before yeah. they actually made it on so mm. cool so let's get into the production so for this first thing was that guitar it's just the same notes just over and over and over and then and then it was pretty dark so it's kind of just that that piano part over the whole thing basically pitched up the straight guitar I can't play guitar for shit, so. <laughs> so that kind of made it in because it still keeps that kind of groove going, but also keeps that live guitar element. After this guitar and keys, this dark sound, I wanted a, like a really heavy sounding kit that sounds like a normal kit. So I went with. I just wanted it to sit and a drummer to feel like they could sort of groove over it. So that was kind of the vibe. And then obviously when I got that kick going, I was like, yes, I really want to groove some bass over this. Air bass, I don't know my I took a note out of a Josh Wanty book on this and put a synth bass underneath the bass. Weird, but... But all together, it works. I chose this instrument but I just loved the sound of it in this in this context it just sounded a little bit of an African element I, this way it kind of all really pulls together because you have that those really big drums that Josh just spoke on and he goes longer it becomes spacier and then you'll just hear I just thought it would be like cool to have a part we you know I'm trying to think about live as well it'd be cool to have a part that you can kind of sing uh, with so Christo came up with this really rad sort of vocal chop thing with just a, a huge big guitar notes and uh, like a massive drum groove I had this kind of weird vocal chop thing where I took where I took the actual chorus and just put some weird delays and pitched it down and stuff like that so it sounds like Like that. Lots of distortion, really weird and whatever. And then I, I happened to discover Frank Moody, who has like sick bass lines. I took this bass groove here and I did an old Frank Moody and put some weird effects on it. And this part. And then all together, it sounds like. And then obviously back into the big chorus after like a really long groove break. Yeah, it's more of a band sounding song than an electronic sort of a track. So, so we'll be back in the spot soon and we'll be looking at some of the other tracks. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll say cheers to the toe here. Cheers. And <laughs> don't forget you can grab the EP online. Thank you so much for all the support so far. Like it's been insane. I really appreciate every stream, every download. Christo does too. So... We are so thankful for that, guys, and we will catch you soon. Oh,